I am back again uh, practicing with some boxes. I have been making quite a few boxes that all have roughly the same dimensions, so I'm trying out a smaller box. I already have the pieces cut from when I went to the wood shop earlier this week, but I have some like clean up and obviously have to glue it up together. So I'm just gonna work on a couple of those steps here. What I haven't shown off camera is that I just sharpened, here's my honing jig. I just sharpened the blade with an iron for my router plane and my jack plane and my chisel. I have really been struggling with sharpening blades and it's still like I'm still learning it. I didn't realize that that's a skill in and of itself to sharpen the blades. But game changer for me was going and getting a strop. This is a... I, I can't explain to you what a strop is, I don't know. <laughs> but I know you need it if your blades are gonna be sharp. So that's really been, um, that, that's made a big difference. So I have these pieces here, which will be the side of my box. I should probably pick the camera up, bring you closer, but I have faith that you can see what I'm doing here. So I have my bottom and then my side pieces, and then I have some face pieces here made out of, it's different wood. I think the contrast will be cute. So I used a table saw to cut these uh, like grooves around so that the bottom can set into it. You might remember last time that I mentioned, I actually wanna be able to sit a bottom into the box instead of like nailing it to the bottom like I have been doing. So I just need to clean up the edges here to actually make this flat because the table saw blades, I didn't have a dado stack, so it's a little ridged. <coughs> Alrighty. So this is what I'll use my router plane for. Um, this is a vintage Stanley router plane and I picked it up from the Chicago Tool Library. They had a sale where they just sold like old stuff. And I imagine this one didn't get loaned out very much because it's, it's, a, it's a tricky tool and it's tricky to sharpen and not really intuitive to use. But if you're like me, it can be quite helpful. So I'm gonna, I should bring you closer. But the whole point of this, like me doing this like this is so that I'm not fussing with the camera more than I am doing the actual woodworking. So I'm just gonna angle my body toward you and not be a perfectionist about the camera angle. All right, I'm gonna lower it down just so it's like just kissing the surface. Okay, they kind of smooching right now. We want a little light peck, okay. There we go. And then let me get a clamp. Always need a clamp. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna clamp this on here and get going. I, I will say while I'm winding this up to clamp, this week has really been a like, tough work week. So I work a full-time job. This is like, I fit this in in the mornings I've been getting up at 5 a.m. to go to the wood shop and like use the table saw and stuff like that in the beginning of the week so that at the end of the week I can just like finish this stuff at home but it has been a really tough week at work um, so the other artists and makers um, watching this can relate to like how difficult it is to show up in your practice when you're needs under capitalism wear you out. Oh, that's perfect. I'm really surprised by how, how easily that's, that's going. I really, cause I, I did not sharpen this incredibly well. Like I said, I'm still learning. So I'm surprised how smooth it's cutting. All right, and all I'm trying to do is just flatten this out. Okay, now I just need to ease it back down a little bit more. 
I do think it'd be, if I'm gonna keep making like furniture that involves this type of joint, it would be very beneficial for me to buy a dado stack because it took like six, seven, well, not that many, but like five or six cuts on the table saw to like work this down. And that is not very time efficient. So, yeah. And I also want to be honest that the speed at which I'm making boxes, such simple boxes, like this will be like for pencils, like a pencil box. The speed that is going is really frustrating for someone like me who's like, what the fuck? Like, shouldn't I already be, shouldn't I already be uh, Charles Ames by now? I definitely think I, I'm cutting too much. <laughs> but you know, shouldn't I already be like a master of furniture design? And it's like, no, you just have to take it slow and learn how to build a square box first. But yeah, this, this is a really small box that it's taken me like a week to put together because of my other obligations. I just realized uh, I was getting a little tear out there because I was going against the grain. So I'm gonna flip it around and it should be a little smoother. But yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what this one looks like. This is my first rabbit joint box. So, should be nice. Okay, no, I'm, I'm not going too deep. That's just, I forgot I raised the table saw. I lowered the table saw blade for part of the cut, so. Truly is that uneven. Okay, we don't want to be hacking at it like that. All right. All right. Okay, I might get some B roll and put it on here. I don't know, but if I don't, this is my update. For today i'm smoothing out these rabbits and then i'm gonna assemble this box which will be a small pencil box 